Are you ready? So I've been privileged to be in the front row to see immense changes in how we consume knowledge, from the Apple II computer in 78 all the way to the World Wide Web in 1994. What you probably didn't know is that the web was never meant to be a read-only medium. It was actually meant to be a read-write medium. But we kind of dropped the writing part for many, many years. Only 25 years later now are we really realizing the whole idea of an interconnected read-write sets of databases on the internet. And how are we doing that? And who are the most important folks to do this? Well, it's actually us. It's the glam sector, right? And this whole idea of linked open data is connecting all these disparate databases and connecting our collections to make something that's much greater than the sum of the parts. Right? So how are we doing this? How are we finding a practical way to realize this vision of the interconnected web? How do we bring together different disciplines, institutions, locales, cultures, and ontologies to make up this linked open data web of 1994? So how does this happen? Well, we all know and love Wikipedia as one of the top reference sites in the world, available in over 200 languages. It is quickly transitioning to Wikidata as the structured database that will allow us to make that great leap forward to do more and better things. So how does this work? Wikidata is actually a database of concepts and relationships. So as opposed to articles in specific language, it stores relationships and concepts in a language independent way. Things, not strings. So if someone puts in the database that Mount Everest is the highest mountain in the Himalayas, it's available in every single language in the world right away. And that's something that's so powerful about Wikidata. And that means that we have pointers to databases like the Getty, ULAN, CDOC, and any of the institutions out there can collaborate on this and individuals as well. So if you were ready to experience this, pull out your cell phone, because in 30 seconds, it's going to have you experience something you've probably never seen before. And that's the actual live semantic web. But before we get there, it's important to note some of the important MCN connections. In fact, Lori Bird McDevitt up there was one of the pioneers in connecting the glam sector with the Wikipedia world and was instrumental in getting these connections going. And we're following through on those things. How are we doing this? Well, at the Met, we're starting to experiment with how do you use these connected databases to visualize things in ways that people have never seen before. So we're looking at all these different types of data, not just in the art world, but in literature, in cinema, and all these different places. So we're going to see in a second a big QR code. So if you have an iPhone, you can scan that. If you've got any other phone, you can just type in the web address, w.wiki slash B-U-A in all caps. So I can see everyone scanning it. And hopefully what will pop up is a live graph of Wikidata that you see right there. This shows the impact of one artwork that is at the Met and how it is the inspiration for costumes for um, Rita Hayworth in the movie Gilda, how it has been the subject of books. And you can drag the nodes around, zoom in, zoom out. This is not a canned demo. This is not a canned animation. This is live database that you're looking at right here. And anyone can create these very easily. So this is just for one specific domain of art, cinema, and literature. But imagine all the possibilities. right? So this is an interactive view of just a small fraction of the 65 million items that are in Wikidata, available in over 200 languages. And the tool that I just showed you is really simple to use. And if you can think about some applications for your institution and your domain of knowledge, start thinking. So why is this interesting? Because when we start thinking about the un underserved communities in the knowledge sector, women scientists, indigenous cultures, historically un underrepresented groups, if you can get Wikidata items about them, you can start weaving stories in the data. Right? This is just a great example of just in four, three years, we've gotten a lot more information about the global south. In South Africa, I'm sorry, South America, Africa, and India, in just three years, we've moved so much more information into Wikidata that you can actually query and do interesting things. So Nina Simon always talks about this idea of trying to go from the contributory stage to the collaborative stage to the elusive co-creative stage with your audience. And I will contend that Wikidata is the thing that gets us there. Right? It's not just contributing a photo or article editing as a collaborative act. It's actually using these tools to create and weave new stories that have never been created before. And you're engaging your audience in new ways of storytelling. And these tools are getting more powerful every day. So what are we going to do about this as a community? Well, we want libraries, archives, museums, historical societies, scientific organizations to join in and create more tools. Link your collections to Wikidata. Experiment with these things. See the power of connecting your collections to the global network of collect connections out there. At the Smithsonian the other day, we made an item in Wikidata for a woman scientist that had never been covered before. It showed up in Google 10 minutes later. 
That's how fast Wikidata travels around the world. So join the crowd. Let's get going. Got a lot of work to do. Thank you.